I thought no, my brother had the <laughs> mono dryer design of which one of them? <laughs> Tell me. Oh, she can. <laughs> you crack a joke and he be thinking. I be thinking. <laughs> yeah, is it funny? <laughs> yeah. Actually, did you I think mean, that? I would be like. Did you really think that? <laughs> Why are you saying such? <laughs> did you, you think know? I was gonna laugh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you again. Anything, um, any just nothing happening. Good. I'm tired. I'm very tired. At 4 a.m. that I have to wake up. Oh my goodness. Oh, because you're not used to it. I'm not used to it. London too. things, you know. It's not the London thing. <laughs> no, no, <that's laughs> I'm 62, almost 62. He's <laughs> waking up at 4. It's not, it's no joke. It's not easy. You're right. I know it's not easy. How are you doing, Nima? I'm fine. Oh, Miriam, very, Miriam. Very, very excited. So at the induction on Friday evening, the, my picture, I met my Edo people and I was so proud, uh, proud of them. I usually start accommodating and hugging and it just is, just is Mary Sueli. I'm just greeting you this morning. Thank you for being so warm. They watch your view. They are fans of the show. Oh, and nice. said, you are our Edo sister and we sat together and I left them to sit at the lower bench table. But she was the one who got my pictures. That's of nice. the induction. So thank you so much. And, I got uh, a lot of faces. Like, oh, Senior. That's my sister, Nima. <laughs> yeah. I know people who are sisters anywhere we go. I, I know. Elena Senior. Ujabite. Oh, hi, Mary. As yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, it's, uh, good, so, it's good. It was so warm and Mariam. nice. How are you doing? You I, beg, I have a comment on Miriam's suit today. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't own, I don't own a suit. Mm. I'm supposed to go for a where, really corporate event. Where are you event. going? And I realize I don't I'm have any I'm not going anywhere. Can I let me tell you the story of this outfit? So I was supposed to wear it for my birthday in July. But the person who made it made a mistake. Uh, and so finally I got it yesterday. I was like, well, <laughs> might as well. I was well That's like I got the jeans jacket. That really cute one that you now got. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. So That's this nice. was supposed but, but, but to be. She made it in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, she, she did. She really did a good job. It's yes, lovely. she redeemed herself. Ah. <laughs> I, need get, I, need get, I need to get a set. You I should. don't have any. I was going for a corporate event. I did. I was looking for suits, and I couldn't find. If I was one. the same size as you, I would just give you all the ones in my. Ah, unfortunately, oh. I'm not. <laughs> I don't wear them anymore like that. I wish I, I wish I was your size. Unfortunately, I'm not. Well, it can be worked on. It can be know? worked on, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can say, but I'm not petite mm -hmm. like her. Okay, well. Work on. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> no, she'll reduce it. But you not believe that mm. between now and December, my weekends are locked down. Like Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In fact, if you give me any invitation for this December, I forget it. Wow. Like tomorrow and Friday, Wednesday, Thursday are burials, which I'm not so not so happy about. Um, one of my aunt's husband passed on, Femi oh. so we'll be doing funeral. But from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, parry. Next week, Friday. But you're not complaining. Friday, parry. They are up like till the end of December, and I'm like, Kilo Shelly, what's going on? So are there like Ashebis? Ashebi, I've just submitted one Ashebi now. Okay. They are doing Ashebi. It's like back to back. Am I going crazy? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it just shows that you're like well that loved and you're invited. December is usually very, very... like that in December because I have a party this weekend, you know. And, and they all have next dress codes. Too. This one they say you wear green. And that one they say you wear purple. You the wear orange. One is even on Thursday. Next week Thursday. Oh, Tom my, my cousin is getting married next week Thursday. Yeah. Can you imagine? And she's 50 something. Oh, oh I love oh, stories like that. Is this her first stories. marriage or...? No, her second. Okay. She's had three kids <clears throat> for her first Mikey, marriage. I love those kind of stories. Because I have a theory I'm working on. And I, and I, I mean, did we see, did we see Richard Dominic's wedding? Question. I love these kind of scenes where see. somebody, when you, when you get to a certain age, mm. you know, you just realize, you know, what all you want for is happiness. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. even you inspire us. You get to a point where you just want to be happy. And then you're, you're, you've done everything the world expects you to do. And mm. then at some point, you just seek happiness. Yeah. Just yeah. laugh. Richard Dominic's wedding was and so Richard Dominic's wedding was a huge Beautiful. Yes. Let's mm -hmm. say that's yes. for Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Let's, we're still being very serious. <laughs> we're still wearing suits. Let's not, <laughs> Let's not get to see. Let's go on a break. We come back. We go through the front page of the paper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Thanks for staying with us. Oh, there's no nation. Let's start with mm. the punch. APC Assembly Tackle Adeleke, Governor sacks 12,000 workers. Kano APC Chair, caught with 367 PVCs jailed. Contractor suspends Lagos Ibadan. Road construction resumes. Eh? January. Is somebody who took that, who took that story? Thank you. Uh, I, I, I took 10,000 yeah. resident doctors remaining in Nigeria, says NARD. Also, ones of new crisis six intervention. Foreign NGOs, fintech firms linked to terrorism financing. No candidates for national award, nominees failed exam. And 50% materials deployed, burnt offices threatened polls, says INEC. Please, can we start with this Lagos Ibadan? Because they told us that by December it will be ready. What's going on? No, there's no, there's no problem there. Yeah, just, I wanted to be sure. They said they have removed all the um, barricades. barricades and yeah. they are, they're, they're stopping them. They're removing them so that when we are traveling for, for the holidays, there will be no traffic. Oh. And they will resume ah, again in January. Clarity. Because uh -huh. I was like, yeah. It's no big deal. So that's still just, a and today I passed there, no traffic. They removed the ones there. Oh, so really? it was so wonderful. Oh, just thank you. Thank you to federal government pass. for that. Yes, and they also oh. said that they'll be resuming in January, which is dry season, and work will go faster than expected. So, so they're not we'll finishing in finish December it. again. Eh? A lot of conditions, they're not finishing in December. But it's okay, at least. We are putting the director of the proposes God disposes under the Ministry of Works and Demola Kuti. Okay, so full of silence. <laughs> yeah, 62. <laughs> <laughs> it's my watch. Yeah, yes, so <laughs> you know that, um, as we said, as we talked about yesterday, Ocean State has a new governor and uh, he did a few things immediately. They said he sacked 12,000 workers so far. He's deposed three monarchs, allegedly ordered the withdrawal of certificates of return of local of the local council chairman, mm. abolished the state of Oshun appellation in now Oshun State, froze um, state accounts and reversed appointments of 30 permanent secretaries that were, that were done by the, his predecessor. And APC is kicking up, uh, against it, the national vice chairman, Southwest for APC, saying that um, the governor shouldn't get too excited, that he should understand that um, governance is a continuum. It doesn't matter, you know, what side of... Um, party that you're on and that um, most of the agreements is done by is, is a contractual relationship and that um, you know um, so he has to respect that it's not something you just go about or else he'll call, bring about distractions you know they'll be in court for so long back and forth uh, so he should please be more objective as he goes forward you know, with all this um, Okay, so things. I but he it. responded yeah. saying that um, he set up four committees. They are going to look into this, investigate. He said some petitions had been, you know, done, and so he has to investigate that. And once that is done, whatever it's the outcome of those petitions, I'm not the state even would sure know why Oyetola employed those thirty those permanent four thousand or yeah. whoever. Yes. How many? Why did he do that? Yeah. You are even having problems paying them. You now want the, this one to come and. Okay, so I was going to take, um, you know that Obia Julu has been looking for the finances of Boko Haram for a while. Anyway, I have some news for her. <laughs> the you federal government, yeah? No, we don't have news. At least we are getting closer. Okay. So the federal government has said that foreign NGOs, banks, financial technology firms, the fintechs, uh, point of sale terminal operators have all been linked to terrorism financing. According to them, after what happened in the Northeast, many foreign organizations uh, moved to the Northeast in the, to, to, to help. However, um, many of them have commenced operations in the country, but many of them have been linked to terrorism for, for financing. This assessment was obtained by um, yesterday by the Central Bank of Nigeria, Department DSS, EFCC, um, Nigeria Financial International Unit, and other bodies. And they are saying categorically that they've identified the affected NGOs, which is a good thing, they've identified them, and to include also operating in terror prone areas, uh, sometimes to say the other fintech companies, I mean, pretty much financial institutions, broad exchange and uh, designated non financial business and professionals. So these people have all come together to be financed because they always monitor because their how payments, huge cash their payments is being is moved, moved from these points. So the, the payment um, solution, uh, POS, is the fintechs and all of that. So money, of course, will pass through them name of the NGOs. So though they said they've identified them, they didn't give us any names, but they said 19 firms have been indicted, investigations are ongoing, 
and then um, hopefully soon we'll have the names. Okay, the Kano Magistrate Court has sentenced the APC Ward Chairman for Yalta uh, in Gabasawa local government area of Kano for being in possession of 367 PVCs. Oh. And you know, he sentenced him for the first count to, um, to, to um, two years imprisonment, but he gave him the option of 500,000 Naira fine. And then sentence him really? for, for the offense of conspiracy, criminal conspiracy under the penal code. And then gave him six months in jail for that uh, or, and gave him the option. So it was a or, it's either you go to jail or pay the money. It's not along with the money. So he gave him the option of another 50,000 naira fine for the second count. It's just sad that, you know, this could have been used to deter, mm. but, you know, <coughs> the judge in his discretion. Okay, let's move on quickly <clears throat> to Daily Sun. Federal government warns Nigerians traveling to the U.S. and the U.K. <laughs> Kano's detention. IPOP writes a U.S. to intervene. Tinubu begins eight-day foreign tour on December 4th uh, to meet Nigerians abroad. Appeal court sings Senate President's re-election bid. 2023 polls. INEC Chairman Warren staff says allegiance to Nigeria is sacrosanct. Buhari son-in-law Saban dumps APC, claims party has no regard for rule of law. Government presses ahead with grazing reserves and ranches. Fire destroys goods worth 700 million in our nature market. Okay, which story are we starting with? Okay, do you want to take the major headline? No, no, please take it. <laughs> so the Minister for Information and Culture has warned Nigerians traveling abroad, especially US and UK, that they are now victims of, um, of uh, attacks <coughs> there and that they've been targeted along malls and public places and recent victims of, you know, have, were dispossessed of their belongings in highbrow shops as, and target was particularly... Especially Nigerians. Specifically Nigerians and specifically passports, the Nigerian passport. And that they, along with other valuables, they were targeting their passports. Hmm. And so, he said, this is not... So according yeah. to him, he said, this is not your typical advisory, travel mm. advisory. Well, we are issuing this as a prerogative of our embassies and high commissions as so well we as ministries of foreign though. affairs. It is merely a piece of advice mm. to Nigerians who are <coughs> visiting the affected And those of you like, why are you finding it hilarious? Please, there is a problem when people steal your passport. Yes. It's not a good thing. That's your identity. Yes. Um, you are a nation. Well, first that's... and foremost, what are you doing walking around with your passport in the first place? And that's a sense of identification. You don't have any... Why are you identifying yourself? Who asked ah. you for your passport no. on, ah. on the streets of, of, of England uh, or London? Okay, Nobody but... asked you for your passport anyway, because there are so okay. many foreigners hot... anyway. It's not our hot topic. So... Why no, are you carrying they... your passport around? Okay, let, whether we are passport. carrying it or not. When you steal the passport, mm, the true. Nigerian passport, mm. where do you want you to go to? You now claim you are Nigerian. You know how, how important we are at okay, Nigeria. Okay, okay. Uh, you now say so you are Nigerian. It's not easy to be a Nigerian. It's not easy to be a Nigerian. Yes. yes. Good it's very, the Nigerian YK. passport very important. Of course. Yes, it is YK. Yes. yes. Well, have I said anything other than mm -hmm. it's extremely yeah, man, very oh, God will disgrace the lack of my music and be committing crime. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> come again. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. The benefits of real estate outweigh its risk and remains one of life's best investments. However, a floodgate of fraudulent activities within the sector has led to the Lagos State Government being inundated with complaints and petitions. Thus, the Lagos State Real Estate Regulatory Authority Law 2022 was enacted to curb such practices, protect citizens and improve financial transparency. At last year, our purpose is to regulate and sanitize the sector, creating an enabling environment for businesses to thrive while attracting foreign direct investments into the industry as we move Lagos into a 21st century economy. And this is why we are inviting you to the third edition of the largest real estate market in Sub-Saharan Africa, Lagos Real Estate Marketplace Conference and Exhibitions. The third edition themed the Lagos Real Estate Emerging Markets, mitigating the potential risks. It holds on the 6th and 7th of December 2022. Admission is free. Registration required. Growing up in a big family, there weren't always enough seats at the table, so we started eating on the floor so that we could enjoy our food and cokes together to remind us that the most important part of any meal is being together. A peak protein breakfast gets you up to a great day. How do I know? 
because my daddy goes to his work feeling good and always with a smile. Mommy is always filled with confidence. My sister is always in tune. And for me, learning new things becomes absolute fun. That's because all day and every day, the peak goes on. Start your day with a big protein breakfast peak. Reach for your peak. Merry Christmas! From Maddish. Maddish 2-in-1 flavor seasoning is a blend of rich ingredients that gives your stew, jollof rice, fried rice and other meals that rich, strong color and desired beef and chicken flavor. And enjoy twice the taste, twice the aroma in your meals. Maddish 2-in-1, available in tomato and beef and curry and chicken flavor seasoning. Merry Christmas from Maddish. Our journey home begins with a single step. It doesn't matter which direction we walk in. We'll always find our way home. There you are. Sometimes we <laughs> pick up friends along the way. Ishaya, Ishaya, our best friend. Sometimes we make enemies. People love a good friend. Because there is no journey without an adventure. Every day we move forward into the unknown. Because every step forward brings us closer to home. <laughs> this is our home. Join us as we showcase the best from Destination Nollywood. Because Nollywood is home on Netflix. better more nutritious meals more veggies but we want it tasty and easy too hmm no cubes that's the secret made with real ingredients like chicken parsley and garlic and enriched with iron so your meals are better for you and more delicious too that's the cocoa let's give it some accolades change your world by changing what's on your plate How important is comfort to you? Is it as important as the day you discovered that self-love is the start of good life? Here is a comfort that your self-love in their day transit into your serenity. The opportunity awaits you on this peace of mind as you pay an installment of 24 months with initial deposit of 500,000 Naira. Serenity at its finest. Well, Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non conformist. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Daily Sun. Is there any other story? Yes. Let's um, go ahead. I have the federal government seeks to improve. Ooh. Why are looking for that? Yes, so the please. APC candidate is going to be going to is traveling around, just like um, I know the other candidates of the LP and Atiku had traveled to a few other countries. Um, Ashwaj Bola Metinumbu will be going for eight days, traveling around um, US, Europe, um, France, and key European unions to speak with these foreign leaders and also influencers across the world to tell them about his agenda and plans to renew hope in Nigeria. Tinobu were back on this foreign trip to meet global leaders and influencers, as I said. Ashwaju used the opportunity of this trip to sell his agenda for development and also solicit the support of Western leaders, which is also very crucial, crucial in these coming elections. And, um, and he'll be hoping that Nigerians over there will be meeting him at all, also to be able to... Come closer.
So the federal government is pressing ahead with the establishment of grazing reserves and creation of modern ranches across the country. Um, 16 locations in eight states have been mapped out as livestock service centers as is contained in the NLTP, that's the National Livestock Transformation Plan. We all remember the hula balloon that happened. And so um, government is saying that, first of all, they have also met with the states that had an issue. And so they explained to them the difference between reserves and grazing. And so far, these states are now on board and they have allowed for um, ranches, I mean, ranches to be established in their states. Um, it also says that this would solve the perennial problem of the um, header farmer crash. Um, he says that um, he does not think that any header would deliberately just push his cows onto farms. But these accidents happen where, you know, you're not watching. But this... Um, Ranch, these reserves will, do, will go a long way in solving those problems. So it seems like um, many of the states are on board with this, and we hope that it will solve many of our issues, especially those clashes. Hopefully. Forward, hopefully. Okay, let's move on now to the Nigerian Tribune. Petrol sells as high as 260 naira per liter in many states. Tribune is best political in reporting at 2022 NMMA. NDIC declares 100% dividend to pay depositors of 20 liquidated banks. FG issues travel advice to Nigerians in Europe and U.S. over increased robbery incidents. ASU students activists protest, say FG failed to honor Bajabia Miller's MOU. Appeal court reinstates Adebu to all Ogun PDP candidates. And a shoe governor nullifies employment of workers done after July 17th, suspends three months, uh, three monarchs appointment. Okay, which story are we starting with? Just, you know, stating yep. what we've been going through for the past one month, I would say. Um, according to the Tribune's report, petrol now sells between 213 naira to 320 naira across different states, according to how it is in past states. And they took inventory from Jigawa, um, Kasina, up north, and compared it to what is also happening in Lagos. There's no petrol on ground and it's selling as that. I, what amazes me is that it's still being distributed at the subsidized rates, but then the cost is selling. Nigerians are still paying more. So it's like we're being ripped from both ends. I think we should just deal with this once and for all. You know, they should just... The chest. Because what is happening is we are paying this high rate. Mm -hmm. We're not complaining. We're all queuing yeah, and we're, we are fighting. The so they should just... Kuku just remove it. Exactly. And, and we're still paying but we, are, we are at risk of paying 400 naira to the liter in NPC total. As it is now. Oh. They are paying there are some people that are paying and then we are still buying it this high. So mm -hmm. somebody is already ripped. We are being ripped from both sides. Mm -hmm. So they should just deal they with it. So Let's know what we are against. Okay. So that they don't come and give us subsidy excuse mm. for the developments they, we need and then we are still paying high. Okay. My only problem is if you do it and it goes above the four hundred naira because it might just skyrocket okay. to yes. 1,000 yes. naira. And it might come down again if when oil prices go down. So I guess the market forces will determine. Uh, I don't know about anything that goes, up, goes up in Nigeria comes down. that comes down. Hardly it's, ever. Not, it's not a Nigerian product. It's a foreign product. So if, we, if it goes down... Petrol? It's, it's not a Nigerian product now. We don't... Mm. We, don't we bring it from abroad. Yeah. It's a foreign product. So it's the international forces that determine what we pay. But let's move on. Yes, NDIC. <laughs> the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation is saying that it has strengthened the process and procedure for data collection in microfinance and primary mortgage banks. Um, it was explained that um, through the single customer view um, platform, the corporation developed and that it, which will help to ensure availability of quality, timely and complete data to the NDIC. This is especially because um, to help reimburse depositors, you know, that um, some of the institution's licenses had been um, revoked by CBN, and so this um, platform would really help in um, making sure depositors, mm. you know, receive, get their money, which is good. Data is important, and sometimes when I read our stories, I'm wondering, is this 2022? I wish we had this conversation earlier, but it's good that we've put this um, in place, and it will be easier for depositors to get their monies back. So, ASU is carrying placard in Ibadan. You know, the ASU, um, mm -hmm. they're not happy, Professor Ayo Akinwali, who was the, um, he is actually the, um, I think he's the chairman in the ASU um, Ibadan chapter, was they had to carry placard yesterday because they were ha unhappy with the federal government and not honoring the MOU that was signed um, um, with the Bajamia Miller, who was the one that actually um, chaired that meeting. So the government is going, um, was supposed to pay 
the withheld third party deductions, including check of dues from March to October 2022. None of these have been paid. He said that the Monday's protest became necessary because, according to ASU, they believe that the government is on a mission to destroy public universities uh, through inadequate funding um, and through their war against ASU. And we're asking again that the federal government should please honor the MOU. There's still a pending MOU during Jonathan's period that has been honored. And the recent one that was recently signed, they should please honor and pay because the federal government is still insisting that no work, no pay is going to be upheld. And um, as we're saying, at least pay us and let us wait to go back to work. This is quite sad if they have to go back to work. Yeah. It, it will be really, 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 really sad, sad because coming sign. towards the elections is not a good thing. So it's somebody should wake up, thing. wake the minister of uh, labor to so know what he's doing. <sighs> what are we doing? What's next? Uh, Vanguard. Vanguard. Adelike fires 12,000 workers. We talked about that already. Let's hand the story of not taking 2023. Beware of politicians, CGN works, warns judges. Niger issues travel advisory. We talked about that. 2022 merits award. FG disqualifies 32 nominees. Yobe North, Lawan loses as Peel Court affirms Machina as APC candidate. It's doubtful herders willful destroy farms, says federal government. Zulim apologizes to Atiku over attack on convoy in Borno. Um, Ogun PDP crisis appeal court reinstates unable to others and terror war 886 hardened Boko Haram fighters for trial. Which story? I would say this story Zolem apologizes to a takeover attack on cover in Borno. Unfortunately, that's the mo that's that's the story because I thought that the report would give us you know a breakdown of the apology and what has been done since then and if the hoodlums have finally been identified but it just says that he has apologized to him and then he goes on to just talk about the fact that he will make sure that uh, no other party clinches any seats you know appointments in his state because for many of them they have been away from Bruno state and all of a sudden after four years they are all trooping in trying to get um, the people of the state to vote for them but i really wanted to hear more about this apology and what the government of um in, in Bruno State is doing so far to arrest these hoodlums. Yeah, um, the Boko Haram um, fighters were transferred from um, they were transferred to Giwa Project in Kainji, Niger State for prosecution. He said um, 323 detainees were transferred to Operation Safe Corridor for the radicalization, demobilization, and rehabilitation. Uh, he, he, um, he said 82,000 of them surrendered. Out of the 82,000, 16,000 were active male fighters, 24,000 were women, while 41,161 were children. Um, so, and then they also spoke about the Chibok girls who they found. They found, I think, 11, 11 of the Chibok girls. All of them with children, some with as many as four children. Mm -hmm. That was really, really sad, you know. And then, right. you know, you, remember we took a story once where they said that some of these girls are deciding to go back to the abductors. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> well, the CGN had the special, special session aid by the Supreme Court to mark the 2022-2023 legal year. All sort of warned the, um, you know, judges that they should, the justices, sorry, that they should look we have just 90 days to the elections. They should be very careful to be uh, pawns in the hands of politicians and that the NJC is on standby, of course, to carry out any, the, the disciplinary action against any reported justice. And that this is a time when politicians are... And you also, you also <coughs> bear the, the situation, the, the condition of, I mean, the situation of crime in our society right. today. So there's high level, uh, high caliber right. crimes happening around and like, you know, security of lives and property is no longer... All right, so we have to wrap up. But let me take this final story. So the Ni Nigerian National Order of Merit, that's NNOM, has said that this year, 2022, I was, they have no winner. And according to the chairman uh, of the board, that's the Shakara, Professor Shakara Yakubwa, who said that nobody was, he explained that the 32 nominees for this award did not pass the, um, were not able to pass the, the necessary um, quota to get the awards. According to him, four candidates, um, they, there were four, 14, nine of different, different categories, and said that none of them were able to qualify for the award. I mean, and they said this award is actually um, is a separate order of dignity in the highest honors category in the fields of science, medicine, engineering, technology, and humanities, including arts and culture. So these 32 nominees who they, they send out the applications 
Unfortunately, none of them are able to. I was shocked to find out they rate an exam for that award. Ah, well, that's all we can take on front page review today. And we come back bringing our guest from Roller Properties. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and love the multiple award-winning all-female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, and Ifula Kuti, a.k.a. Yay! YK Power! Ginger, today, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Huh. Hmm. I know, I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah, wait, wait till your age. Close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said, said 75. 75. I couldn't. But that's why I wasn't even born till 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You go drink out. Oh. Take, take, take. Make I go make I help you. Rush and rush and rush and. No, be half. I try. Which half? You will make me drink. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Lights in, you know. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa Road. Nepa Road. In a Ah <laughs> uh -uh. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah hey omi omo fella omi omo anikula pokuti. Oh no, can you kick it? It's my eldest son, it's not my eldest son. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the part of the show where I really have a lot of fun. Why? I am highly competitive. I'm not gonna ask you regular questions with me. I'm not well. So, you're going to be as nuts as I am today, yes? Ready, ready, ready. Alrighty. Hey, sorry, sorry. Can you can you put it down here, please? King Dion versus Tony. Oh, thank you. See all the Lee Kuku things you do. Do they make me... Oh, no. Who said this? I'm not ready. Closer. Girl, I want to make you closer. Okay, okay, okay. I'm played in closer. On a scale of 1 to 10. How much fun have you had on the show? 11, 10. 11? 10, 11. yes. Now we're going to terminate the show. Mm. Please. My producer, this is where we're cutting it. Cameraman, cut, cut it. Cut it! <laughs> you don't cut. Okay, I'm just kidding. The hottest music videos. Check it out, check it out. Let's go. Top in the charts. Right here on the Max World Chart Show.
thanks for staying with us. We have with us the business sales executive of Roller Properties, I believe. Yes. Your Judola Alajab Brown. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, what is Roller Properties up to today? Okay. So, um, so let me tell let me tell you guys a bit about Roller Properties before. Are you sure you want to tell us something? <laughs> Please go ahead. <laughs> so, so Rollout Properties, our resolution as a company is to um, be a world-class force, you know, and we'll make sure that we deliver excellent and quality, affordable real estate services to um, within Africa and beyond Africa. So we just even established an um, office in an office in the UK as well. So. Oh, wow. Yes, and we have about 27. We've satisfied about 5,000 customers, basically. And we are looking to satisfy more. You know that um, Africa, Nigeria as a whole, as a growing population, so many people are always asking the question of where are people, this population, where are these people going to live at the end of the day? So we are the ones taking up that challenge to make sure that all these people, they have where to live. And we have, I think, so far, we've been doing a great job. And at affordable prices. At affordable that prices as well. Very the affordable. Expand on how affordable. Okay, so um, so currently we are even doing our level up promo, um, which is something that is just running for the December period. We know that the Ulitude season, everybody's um, everybody's happy about the Christmas and and you know so roller properties. We are coming with our own level up promo as well and making sure that you also get goodies even while you're trying to buy land from us. So um, you can get, even if you have an initial deposit of just about as little as 100 to mm -hmm. about 2 million, we, can, we, all, we have something for you from vouchers, shopping vouchers, mm -hmm. to rice, to vegetables. Oh. No, cow, no cow this time around, but, <laughs> it's, Ilea. but we are going, it's not Ilea season, but we did that during mm -hmm. the Ilea, mm -hmm. basically. But we are going to have as much as, um, you know, um, rice, 10 kg rice, okay. oil, there's turkey as well, you know. So, and we have, you know, roller property, we definitely always give you something to hold. Okay. Yes. And how long is this offer available for? Um, it's going to be available till December 31st. Wow. Yes. So, gather your money. So, you can gather your money get... now and make sure that you come and... You uh, come for, is it one turkey per every 100,000 or... No, no, no. It depends on the package that you... It depends on the installment plan you're you going on and it depends on the initial deposit you drop. So, if it's 100,000, you get a shopping voucher. If it's 250,000, you can get 10 kg rice and also um, you can get oil as well. So, as you your initial deposit increases, mm. definitely you are going to... Get more. Are you buying okay. the rice from Nima? Oh, okay, we have <laughs> to <just> ask. <laughs> Are you buying the rice from Nima? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just one of what we give you. Please buy from me. When you, I'm when selling you rice. It's not like this season. Okay. So, could you tell us this uh, specific product and who they are open to? Okay. So, um, our product is op open to first-time home buyers. So, right now we have a very, very unique product called Ideradi, which means comfort is here. So it's um, we we are we are um, we brought this project my um, my company to make sure that people we want to encourage communal living basically mm -hmm. we know that people always experience all these things in Banana Island Lekki so there are so many people that would always say that ah, when we will bring it to the mainland not everyone likes to live on the on the island so we we thought of bringing it to the mainland as well so it consists of 150 units of apartments. And it sits on 10,000 square meters of land as well. And we are people that, and we've made sure that um, this is so affordable. It's luxurious yet affordable. There are so many things that are going to be inside this project. It's called the Idaradi Housing Scheme. It's located in Moe and at, at this zone. So it's 10 minutes drive from the um, Lagos Bado Expressway, mm -hmm. and 30 minutes drive from Ikeja, okay. and also one hour, 30 minutes drive from, um, from the Lagos Island, basically. So if you want, if you want to be a part of this project, we have a semi-finished, we have a semi-finished apartment, and we have finished apartments. So you can get your keys by the end of December, 2023, as well. So we know some people would like to go for the semi-finished apartment because okay, they would like to style their taste, houses. Yeah. Yes, they have taste, so they like to style their houses <laughs> their own way. So we would, and um, while some people do, just give me my house basically so um so we have something for everybody i have plenty question but they won't let me ask so <laughs> you ask now how yeah. can people withdraw that 
someone's watching and would like to get in touch. Okay, so um, so if you want to um, reach Roland, you can always go to our office. Our office at Bagada, um, um, Ajaya, you know, Street. We also have an office at Admiralty Way in Lekki as well. And um, we also have an office at Ibadan and Abuja as well. So you can always reach out to us on And the UK online. office? And the UK, the UK office, I think, is dis displayed online, right? Mm -hmm. yes. It's displayed on the screen mm -hmm. as well. Okay. okay. Can I quickly ask? Okay. This semi-finished apartments, how many bedrooms, you know? Okay, we have two, we have two bedroom bungalows and we have three bedroom bungalows. Oh, uh, bungalows? Yes, bungalows. Oh, nice. Yes. So you can... You, Where is it located? Where is the Gerardi? The Darade is located in Moe, Moe, at Adesan in Moe. It's a developed area. Um, the road network is very good as well. People are living there already. And like I said, we, w we want to encourage communal living. And this is a place that is going to have, um, there's going to be a hospital inside of it. There's going to be, wow. there's going to be a grocery store. There's going to be, um, there's going to be schools as well. And also, we're even offering, to, the company is offering um, shuttle buses to people that will be transporting from Moe all the way to um all the way to the yes to the mainland as well so you can always so we are making it as easy as possible and you know that's why we are saying comfort is here basically so, if, if i wanted to buy the apartment now can i come and see it before i put my money definitely there? definitely yeah, we always encourage that you always come and see what you want to buy before mm. actually paying money so we we run our inspections between Mondays and Saturdays as well. So we make exceptions for Sundays as well. So we, are, so we know that some people might just be like, oh, I'm not free during the week. I'm not free on Saturday as well. Do you guys run inspections on Sunday? So we make those arrangements as well for people who would like to come. Okay. Are you sure you I'm not asking questions? any more questions. No, please, though. Because <laughs> you are very interested in this property. Just tell us you are not enjoying it. No, 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 I was. I was. Yeah, I mean, because I you were like this. Oh, no, because I understood the love of properties. I understand. I've read for the property. I've been listening to them. So, trust me. I'm very aware. YK is when I traveled for 10 months. Ah, you know, I need some updates. <laughs> 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 I have updates. 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 We also have so <laughs> many other packages as well. We even have um, our Black Friday promo is ending tomorrow. Ah. Yes. So, it's something that um, is a 35% discount on most 35%. of our 35%. A whole 35%. Yes. Wow. So, we are being as considerate as possible. We are giving, we are giving um, our customers just as much opportunities to just come and tap into that real estate real estate firm you know just come and tap into that real estate energy because okay yeah. thank you so much it was a pleasure having you, thank you so on the much. show thank you so much for all properties for sharing with us the bonanza you have for this season let's go on a break when we come back from our hot topic of the day stay with us we'll be right back stay tuned your view will be right back ladies and gentlemen make welcome the one who can make time stand still forever, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, I mean. Yeah, it was great. Okay, yeah. Thank we, you. We, we thank try you. like that. Thank you, thank you. Now my question, which I feel is a cheap question. Oh, go ahead. What does ISO stand for? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. That is it. I think I'll drink. <laughs> no, you're joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> Clear your money. No. <laughs> Shay, you didn't want me. me. You want me no. I think I'll drink. Huh? No problem. Okay. <laughs> I've always known this as ISO. I never bothered to know what it means. I know what it means, but I never really bothered to know what the acronym is. Tell me the, the, the brand of camera that I use so much so that you know, I even became an ambassador. That is that's very easy. <laughs> you know, sorry. It's, it's supposed to be, yeah. I just said, let me take a give you this one. As a token of my appreciation. <laughs> Sony. Drink! No, 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 I'm not there, I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. No, 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 no. You did not, you, you not say final answer. This is final answer. You did not, you did not ask me if that was my final answer. You don't answer. have any choice again. It's only how many, how many cameras do they have? I went to drink. I gave you a very easy something. Nikon now. Yeah.
Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get in-depth into all the various topics. And you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's Your View. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Ike Chuku, Sunday, Okonkwo, aka Cross. <laughs> Are your intro with that one? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you say I should drink. There's no particular answer. You <laughs> think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Such a fuge. Such a fuge. S U B T E R F U G. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go know what to be called hot sauce, hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be it was be actually a mistake. Be like I was sending it to someone, and it just mistakenly just went like that. Yeah. Thanks for staying with us. So join us on the show to talk about 16 days of activism against gender-based violence is the British Deputy High Commissioner to Nigeria, Jill Atkinson. Welcome to the show, madam. Are you there? I'm here, yes. Good morning. Good to have you on the show. So, the 16 days of activism against um, gender-based violence started November 25th. How do you plan to celebrate or commemorate this date in Nigeria? Uh, so we've already been doing some activities in Nigeria. Um, you know, the, the sort of public thing we're doing is talking about gender-based violence. I think one of the things that's come through to me really strongly as we look at this is that it's through being open about how pervasive gender-based violence is that we can really start to get people to take it seriously and to act on it. Um, I'm really pleased that tonight I'm going to UN House where along with um, a, a large number of uh, Nigerian politicians and seniors they'll be lighting up the building orange. Um, but perhaps most importantly of all in London uh, we're hosting a major conference led by the Foreign Secretary James Cleverley um, which Dame Pauline Talon is attending and this is looking um, and making commitments on pre uh, preventing sexual violence in conflict uh, which is something where we believe commitment and action from political leaders can really make a difference. Okay. So, um, what are your thoughts on the collective action Nigerians can take to eliminate gender-based violence? So, I think for me, the, the issue is that gender-based violence is everywhere in Nigeria. Um, I suspect that if you ask um, every woman in your studio, do you know about it? Has it happened to you? Do you have a friend that it's happened to? They probably all say yes. Um, but
but people don't talk about it people don't admit it people are ashamed of it women are ashamed of it and to me that's terrible you know why should the person who has been violated be ashamed of the fact that someone has violated them surely the person who should be ashamed is the person who's responsible so to me the more we can do and the more people like you can do to admit to the problem to respond to it and to address it that makes a fundamental difference that it doesn't become a private shame and a private stigma it becomes something which society as a whole wants to address All right okay so we have um, the 16 days social media package so this is sharing the visuals and messaging you know about um, gender-based violence and I wonder if um, through the cause of this activism if in any way we have seen um, or experienced like a positive response because of you know showing it out in visuals is there any data to prove that this makes it better is there any data to show that there's a there's a change in mindset and just an improved response to this messaging yeah so i think the important thing here is i think with problems like gender-based violence it can be too easy for people to go oh this is part of our society it'll take generations to change it's so difficult it's so complicated so let's try and think about something else or do something else so i was reading the other day about a project that had been done in uh, the drc in some of the conflict areas there where the project leaders brought on side faith leaders and traditional rulers to become advocates um, against gender-based violence. And they were able, in a relatively short period of time, only a few years, to reduce the numbers of women who said they had been the subject of gender-based violence by close to 50%. So I think, to me, this shows that in a, a society where gender-based violence was regarded as normal and part of life and just get on with life and accept it, actually with the right advocacy and the right action, you can make a difference. All right. No, I, um, you, you were saying, um, if we ask ourselves in this studio, we we'll know of someone who has been part of, I wanted to know what the statistics are in Britain. Is it the same? Uh, so I don't think they're quite as high in Britain. I mean, the, the, there were two um, statistics I read about Nigeria. Um, the first is that um, nearly three in ten women and girls in this country have experienced physical violence against themselves. But the one that's really more shocking than that is that this has happened by the time they're 15 years old. This isn't women, this is girls, this is your daughters. You know, and, and for three in 10 to have had some sort of violence against them in um, you know, the first years of their life, before they're grown up, before they're adult, that's something which is shocking. I can't, off the top of my head, give you the statistics for the UK. I'm not pretending right. life is perfect in the UK, <laughs> but it's not that bad. Okay. Now, um, you see, when you see some of this data, there's some I have with me that says more than five girls or women are killed every hour by some, like a family member, and 40% of women who experience violence seek help. They don't seek help of any sort. Now, my question is, do we have demographics of these women because some people some higher end women will feel oh it happens only amongst poor people you know the educated oh, people doesn't happen amongst educated people do we have the, the real data because maybe it, it only happens in the grassroots level low income poor families and if that is so what are you doing or what are you doing to support what government is doing within nigeria on that level however if you have the, the data you have is that it's all women across all strata what is, what, is, what, what is your government also doing to support at that end? So I think if you, you know, one of the things to me which is stunning about this country, which I love, um, is that there are women at the top of many, many 
professions and activities in, here in Nigeria, you know, including some fantastic journalists. There are women at the top of business, there are women at the top of the arts. But if you look at the political environment here, you know, one gubernatorial candidate from the two main parties in 36 states of Nigeria. Um, now, what does that say about how politics regards women here? You know, and, and I have to say, quite frankly, you know, 50 percent of the population are women. What is it saying and doing that means that women are not being represented in the Senate, in the House of Representatives, in the gubernatorial level? Why is it that women are um, you know, having interviews where people are talking about their dress? or um, how pretty they are, not what their views are on education or uh, violence in their state. You know, um, why are women not being asked about healthcare? The things which actually make a, a difference on day-to-day -day life. So I think for me, I'm not saying that every woman has been the subject of violence, but I think it's... Um, it allows you to make the problem someone else's if you say that it's only the lower classes or it's only the educated, uneducated, or it's only the illiterate women this is happening to. I just don't think that's true. Right. And I, I think, as I say, if you ask yourself, ask your friends and colleagues, has this happened to you? Do you know this has happened, someone this has happened to? They would, they would say yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you met any women that it has happened to in your in this sojourn? In my life? No, no, not in this life. Uh, While you've been here, I mean, have you met yeah. any um, uh, Nigerian women who have come up to you and said, oh, this is happening in my life, or I can't talk about it? So I know different ways. Um, I know one former parliamentarian who said to me, her life as a parliamentarian was so awful that she was pleased to step down uh, because of the abuse that she had, um, the lack of respect, the, the focus on her, sexu her sex and her sexuality rather than her knowledge and her understanding. I certainly know of uh, people I work with professionally who right. it's happened to. Right. And sadly, I met women who have been beaten by their husband. Right. It's part of life. Okay, let me get a few more questions in for you. Okay, so, um, in mm -hmm. Nigeria, the NAPTIP, the body for against trafficking, is the one empowered by law to enforce the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act. How are you mm -hmm. partnering with that body to, you know, to raise more awareness on this? Yeah. So we've been working on the uh, Violence Against the Persons Act at, at different levels. Um, we've been working in partnership with uh, various uh, state governments as they domesticate it into local law. We were very pleased to see recently that it's been domesticated in Kano. This is a fantastic success. Um, we also recognise that... Um, for some states, and again, this is about having uh, state assemblies that are all male, um, getting men to vote to accept the Violence Against the Persons Act has been a, a real struggle. Um, if we saw better female representation, I think that balance would change in some states. Yeah. Um, with NAPTIP, our main partnership is focused on um, the trafficking of women. Um, and one of the things that we have been working on with them over the years is a, a, a campaign called We Are Not For Sale, because um, sadly what happens to many women who are trafficked is that they end up in, in European countries, including the UK, um, in positions where they are the subject of sexual abuse or economic abuse or modern slavery and they think that they're leaving Nigeria for a better life and the reality is that they become 
mm. in illegal immigrant, very few rights right. in Europe. Uh, and often these are well-educated professional women mm. who um, are buying a dream that's not there. That's not real. Okay. So the UK is currently hosting the um, Preventing Sexual Violence in Conflict Initiative Conference. Could you please tell us what the purpose of this conference is and the objective? Yeah. So the conference is, again, part of what I've been saying about um, the more people talk about this, the more politicians talk about it, the more that we make people aware of sexual violence, and particularly sexual violence in conflict, um, the more people are able to respond to it and to address the situation. Um, I'm really pleased that Nigeria is being represented by Dame Pauline Callum and that there will be a political statement coming out today uh, which Dame Pauline will be signing on behalf of the Nigerian government. Um, and also that uh, Nigeria has recently promoted um, women and girls' rights um, in the UN General Assembly. Uh, it's good to see, despite some of the problems I've talked about, that you know, internationally Nigeria's voice is being heard and that Nigeria is responding to political initiatives. All right. Finally, how can a survival-centered approach address sexual violence? Yeah. So... I think one of the, the challenges with this is that you get far too much victim blaming, whether that's she did something wrong, she was out too late, she annoyed her husband, uh, she was dressed uh, disrespectfully. All these things, all these phrases, we've all heard them. Um, if a woman has been assaulted, if a woman has been the subject of violence, then the issue is about working with her. What does she need? What support does she need? What legal redress does she have? What confidence does she have that she'll get the practical and physical support that she needs? Will she find shelter? Will she find psychological support? Will she find a police station with a women's centre who will listen to her and not send her back into that violent, situ violent situation. So a, uh, a victim-centered approach is about this woman has been the subject of violence. How do we support her? How do we help her move forward? Right. And how do we get an answer that supports her, not what we think should happen? Exactly. Thank you so much, Jill, for joining us this morning, and I wish you the best as the campaign starts November 25th. It started it's for 16 days, and indeed, we hope that people get the message of this. I think it's activism um, is the, um, the, the theme of this year, is Act Now, um, and I hope that Nigerians really can get some benefits from these, these 16 days. All right, that's all we can take yeah. on this segment. We'll see you after the break. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome showstopper, voice stage and film actor, CEO and celebrity mom, Oluwa Bamike Olawumi Adenibunyo, aka Two Shots in the Air. Bam! Bam! <laughs> This is mean. I feel set up today. My guards are down. It's not fair. Guys, beg for me now. I'm hearing them okay. saying, please. No, please, no, 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 no. Please. Can't you hear it? No, they are saying you should actually drink, 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 drink. Wait, what's this show? Oh, more history. Drink it now. You must even up the game. Mama, she's so man killing me. No! No!
you think you can outplay me in this game of wits and knowledge? Can you go seven rounds without flinching? I meant answering seven questions correctly. How well can you hold your liquor? If you're curious, then join us for the most exciting conversation and games with your favorite celebrities on 7 of 7. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So, if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities, right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever- Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Showstopper, voice stage and film actor, CEO and celebrity mom, Oluwa Bamike Olawumi Adenibunyo, AKA Two Shots in the Air, Bam Bam! <laughs> This is mean. I feel set up today. My guards are down. It's not fair. Guys, beg for me now. I'm hearing them okay. saying, please. No, please, I anybody. Please. Can't you hear it? No, they are saying you should actually drink, 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 drink. Wait, me, what's this show? Oh, more history, me. Drink it! Now, you must even up the game. Mama she's tall man feeling me. No! No. Thanks for staying with us. You know, Tuesdays we like to do healthy um, topics. So we'll be discussing aging in good health, dementia prevention and management. Joining us on the show now is the founder, lead consultant, geriatrician, internist, JBS Gerontology Center, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ulutoi Ajala. Welcome to the show. Hello, thank Good you. Good to have you again. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so you can call and join the conversation on 081-270-53687-091-390-7694. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Aging gracefully, you know, people are always scared about getting old because they want to look continually beautiful and graceful. Just like YK at 62, she's looking very gorgeous. And we keep looking at her and thinking, ah, how are we going to make sure that we look even like her or better than her when we get to that age? But really and truly, people are always afraid of that season in their life. Um, I like also to start from the break basis before we even get into dementia at all. Mm. How can we prevent or reduce age? I want to say prevent, prevent is the wrong word. <laughs> how can we reduce the features of aging on our body? Right, okay. So 
<clears throat> sorry, I think you've clarified it properly. Reduce or prevent aging is wrong because there are two ways to live. You either age or you die young. So if you want to, to um, have a long life, you have to age. Um, so looking at our beautiful sis here, we could ask her a few questions, maybe because she's brightly colored and has a positive mindset. That actually helps. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, but apart from that, there are a few things um, that we all have to pay attention to. Some of these things are basic, the things that we always talk about, things like nutrition, what you eat, what you drink. I'm one of those people that firmly believes that you really should not cut anything out completely. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be done in moderation, yes. apart from things like smoking. So smoking, out. Sugar, I've said this before, out. The reason why I always say sugar, out, is because sugar is the number one aging food. Or, yes, yes. In the, in the, you know, anything that, when we're talking about things that we consume into our bodies, sugar is the one thing that everyone should cut out. And the reason why you have to cut it out is because it is um, it causes, it, it promotes inflammation in the body. It in, encourages the release of something called cortisol that encourages um, stress. Uh, stress. Well, it's, it's, cortisol is a stress hormone. So anything that, you know, helps, makes the body produce more stress hormones should be cut out. Sugar is the number one. Now, so, that sugar, let's define it a bit because uh -huh. so is this carbohydrate that converts to sugar or is it the, the fried like fried sugar or is oh it the sugar goodness. in the fruits? There's sugar everywhere. There's sugar everywhere. There's natural sugar. There's artificial added sugar. Try and cut out any additional sugar. Rice. We grew up, rice is a, it's a carbohydrate. It's starch. It's not sugar. Okay. I'm actually talking about sugar. You know, I'm talking about that refined product, that mm -hmm. substance that we put in our um, food and drinks to sweeten it. We don't need it. I hate sugar. Good. I love sugar. That's why you look the way you do. I hate sugar. So you don't you don't add sugar to you add honey to your tea. Or, so there you go. So if you want to look like sis, at but I take it's okay, so it's okay. <laughs> I take coffee. I'm somewhat addicted to coffee. You yes. Know, black coffee is horrible. It's an acquired taste. Thank coffee. you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sugar is an acquired taste. I mean, one of the yes, to sorry. enjoy all my other tastes, but yeah. I love my sour. I've come to love them, and I feel much healthier. Growing up, you know, they used to just give us a choco. We call it tea for every bread that we eat. And yes. I noticed that all through school, I was always tired. Yeah, I would sleep through classes. I can't concentrate. And recently, that I stopped it, I felt much healthier. So just. Yes. Out, um, Even Gary, I don't use. No, no, I, I take my, Gary my sour. plain sour mm -hmm. Gary. Can I yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, since we're using YK as a case study, yes. the thing that I would say has worked for um, YK is her active lifestyle. Oh, yes. So, in what way would you um, advise someone who hasn't had the active lifestyle that uh, YK has had and they find themselves in their 60s? Can they start now and will it make an impact? Yes, you can. So actually, you know, aging actually starts at 30. Mm. So from age 30, you need to start. You have to be intentional about this. You have to be in If you want to age in good health, age in a good way, age gracefully like sis, you have to start really in your 30s and be intentional. I wouldn't say have to because by the time you get to 60, 65, even, even at that age, sorry, um, <clears throat> you know, if you start to incorporate things into your life and into your, um, you know, your everyday mm. living, then you can still age better, even if you start later okay, in let's, life. Let, so we're trying to get the audience um, to get information from you. Yes. So somebody right now has a mother. She's yeah. abroad, she's trying to help her mother. A mother who is probably not used to having an active lifestyle, yes. has a driver, has a help, as if you know, she's like a madame. Yes. And so, how that can somebody who is a madame, who has help and everything, how can they begin to take exercise seriously? So, because I know my mother used to feel like, I can't, I can't start be jumping, or jumping up and down at mm. this age. I'm too old for that. How do we get our mothers, who are madams, to start living healthier? Well, they can come and see me for a start. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the first thing, you know, I've got a center now in Lekki. It's the Gerontology Center, GBS Gerontology Center. Gerontology, not geriatrics. 
Okay. Gerontology is the study of aging, so you know, you can come from middle age and come over there and have a consultation and we can help you to age better. Oh. That's not the, yes, that's, the, I mean, that's, that's one of the things we do yeah. at the center. Yeah. So you can send them my way. But, you know, on a serious note, really, I mean, that's one of the problems that we have in this society is that lots of madams, I was actually told once by a friend, so madams don't do what you're doing as in you know you get up you you know you have guests you serve them yourself you you, you mm. you're running around doing things well so, madams don't do that or madams don't do anything here and you know for those of us who you know when you travel and you come back you land in lagos half of the plane is sitting in their seats waiting for wheelchairs to come and pick them up mm. to take them to the mm -hmm. uh, that actually frustrates me actually it upsets me because i'm thinking oh my god mommy why are you sitting down get up you know you have to walk but if you no, i just want to sit here and get someone to wheel me down it's a mindset mm. and it's a very very bad poor mindset actually it's something that we have to guard against actively so we'll, we need know. a quick break when we come back we continue this conversation stay with us we'll be right back stay tuned your view will be right back ladies and gentlemen make welcome pioneer positive force member dancing queen of the 80s non-conformist Afrobeat historian in a right and long standing member of the multiple award winning all female show, your view, Omoyeni, Yeni, and Ipula Kuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Today, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know, I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah! Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He, he said 75. I said 75. But I wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You go drink out. Take, take, take. Make I go make I help you. Rush and rush and rush and. Not be half. Eh? Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Light in, in no. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa oh. Road. Nepa Road. In a <laughs> uh -uh. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah eh omi omo fella omi omo anikula kpokuti. It's my audio song, it's not my audio eh? song. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Ike Chuku, Sunday, Okonkwo, aka Cross. <laughs> Are your intro without him? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you said I should drink. There's no particular answer. You think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sort of huge. Such a huge. S U B T E R F U G. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go no way to be called hot such such The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be it was be actually a mistake. Be like it was sending it to someone, and it just mistake only really just. Okay, that, yeah.
Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So, if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities, right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the part of the show where I really have a lot of fun. Why? I, I'm highly competitive. I'm not going to ask you regular questions with me. I'm not well. So <laughs> you're going to be as nuts as I am today, yes? Ready, ready, ready. Alrighty. <laughs> hey, sorry, sorry. Can you can you put it down here, please? King Dion versus Tony. Oh, thank you. See all the Lee Cuckoo things you do. Do they make me oh no? Who said this? I'm not going to closer. Girl, I want to make you closer. Okay, okay, okay. I'm played in closer. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much fun have you had on the show? 11, 10. 11? <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So we still have our doctor in the building. Um, Dr. Jalab, we're talking about aging gracefully, but I know we also wanted to touch on dementia, which is also really important mm -hmm. because this is one of the illnesses, they say, of the old. Um, could you tell us a bit about dementia and why should we also pay attention to it at this time? Okay, so the first thing I want to say about dementia is that... Um, I came to Nigeria in 2018 to set up my elderly health care service and I believed at that time that dementia was a Western problem. <laughs> I did not think we had dementia in Nigeria until I came to provide that service to the elderly. I was shocked. Um, very common, a lot more common than people are aware of because, you know, our society, people don't like to talk about these things. So things that are happening in families, not many people want to talk about them. So it's very common, very important. Now, it's a disease of older age, not a disease of aging. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's more prevalent in older age, but it's not a normal part of aging. Okay. Dementia is an abnormal, it's, it's an abnormal um, situation it's an abnormal um problem so to speak mm -hmm. but it's common it's commoner in the older age group i have a few patients who are in their 60s who've got dementia but most of my patients with dementia are older mm -hmm. much so it, older so of course the question yeah. will be is it a lifestyle problem that causes dementia is it something in our um, genetics it's a, it's 50 50. okay actually i say 30% 30, 30 of um, dementias are preventable, okay. well, according to most of the studies that have been done. For those who don't know what dementia is, could you please tell us what it is? Because some are just hearing dementia, but they're not even sure what it means. Could okay. you tell us? So dementia is um, a problem that affects the brain, where people find it difficult to remember things, their behavior changes, and it gets to a point where... It can get so bad that they can't even look after themselves <sighs> properly. You know, they can wander out of the house and get lost. You know, the misplaced things, they just can't function. So you know that um, so many people in their 50s will say to me, Oh, Tony, I think I'm, I've got dementia because I put my keys somewhere yesterday. I, couldn't, I, I didn't know where it was. That's normal, you know, but you're able to function normally right. otherwise. 
when people have dementia, the dysfunction in the brain is so severe that they can't remember things. They can't remember the, the normal day-to-day, -day, yeah, their normal day-to-day -day, um, um, activities. You know, so even being able to feed themselves, sometimes they can't do. The brain just forgets. It forgets um, how to. Um, how to actually perform things. Sometimes, sometimes even walking, you know, they get to a point where they might not be able to walk. Some people can walk, but won't be able to remember who their children are. They can't remember where they are, you know. So it's, it's, um, it affects what we call cognition. Cognition is being able to remember and execute functions. Mm. Okay, a lot of people believe in this part of the world that we don't have it. It's not prevalent here because... We, the lifestyle that we have here is we it's communal and your old mother will stay in your house with you till maybe she passes or i mean you all so because you are in a, a familiar environment you probably won't even if it develops it will be it will be a slower yeah. process yeah. is that true um well there might be a bit of truth to that in that if you are someone who is very active activity slows down the progression of dementia so social activities social interactions actually slows down the progression of dementia um just give you an example during covid so lots of my patients i encourage them to go out so, and that's one of the ways you can age gracefully. Be active, go out, socialize. Don't live in isolation. Don't live in depression. You know, don't just... Mm. Going out, having a social life, it helps. So if you are in a, an environment where there's a lot of social activity, mm. even if dementia sets in, the progression of that dementia will be, will, um, dementia will be slower than if you are living in isolation. Mm. 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 However, dementia is very prevalent in this society. Mm. Mm. It's interesting because you see a lot of people get involved in like church activities and you're thinking they're so involved. This is one of the activities that keeps them mm -hmm. and their husbands are home just being daddy. And the daddy unfortunately passes faster because they're just <laughs> at home. But the mommies are doing church meeting, for program, mm -hmm. they're traveling for camp and everything. Activity, their brain is working. So it's an interesting, just, this is my own example, but it's yes. interesting. I'll come to you, Nima. Let me take this call. Jemma's been holding from the UK. Good morning, Nijema. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning. You're alive. Go ahead, please. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm calling to suggest a question. Yes. Um, I'm a fan of your view, and I remember her, I remember she was here the last the last time she was on the program. Yes. She talked about her um, services for elderly people. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I have passion for elderly people as well. And um, I'm from in the UK, and I'm currently doing a study around 1840 and the rest of it, you know, issues around 40 right. in the affecting other people. And so this is like a passionate topic to me. <laughs> but then I want to ask you this, yeah? Um, before she came down to Nigeria, because I'm aware she was once in the UK studying and all, before she came down to Nigeria, how how did she come up with the uh, statistics around aging population in Nigeria? Number one, um, and does she have a, a, a study done in Nigeria? Because like thesis, you know, like what I usually say, uh, we don't have data in Nigeria, and that's a big problem. Right. Um, yeah. So I guess she's just worried about data. Like it's difficult. Yes, yeah. more people are coming into this industry, but many of them don't yeah. have data. She's mm -hmm. asking, like, maybe how did you were you able to get some of your data? There's actually data. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there are nine geriatricians in Nigeria. Um, there's um, another geriatrician in Abuja who is very actively involved with um, government um, organizations, and she she actually gets a lot of data for us. The you know the the, the centers for um, statistics and you know the census. Um, studies and everything so there is more data than people really think, think. Mm -hmm. so at this at this time we've got two um, government funded geriatric centers in Nigeria there's one in Ibadan I'm a visiting consultant for that center in Ibadan and there's one in Benin and we do a lot of research there's a lot of research being done and a lot of papers being written. So, yeah. you know, in a way, it's, it's easy to sit outside Nigeria and say, like I did, yeah. oh, 
There's no, there's data. no data. There's nothing. But there is actually. Yeah. You know, Nigerians are some of the most innovative, yeah. intelligent people in the world. Do a lot of research. More PhDs probably than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. everyone's writing papers. Everyone's doing studies. Mm -hmm. So there's more. There's a lot more data out there than people think. She just needs to search. Right. Mm -hmm. She needs to search and ask the right people. Right. So there's a national. Um, um, there's a there's a center for um, senior citizens in Abuja doing a lot of work. Wow. So if she mm -hmm. contacts them, she'll get. A let lot me come of to you, Nima. But let me just quickly take this. Book is holding from Kaduna. I'll come to you. Book from Kaduna. You're live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have a question for the guest speaker. I'm having trouble Good hearing morning. you. Good morning. 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 I'm we having can trouble hear hearing, but go ahead, please. I can't hear. It's listening to herself. Nima, go ahead, please. Okay, so I met a family whose mom passed well into her 70s, and they said, you know, she had dementia genetically, and she, you know, she started to exhibit it, but it took longer for it to fully manifest because she was researching and writing. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to talk about whether such activity, she wrote many books that, you know, become a um, foundation that I read growing up. Mm. Does researching and writing or, you know, being, reading, mm. does it help to delay the... It helps a lot. And one of the reasons why it helps is that it's one of those brain-stimulating activities. If you can, you know, there's, there's a saying, what you don't use, you lose. Mm -hmm. If you use your brain, if you exercise your brain, it's, you, you, you wouldn't lose your brain as quickly as if you didn't. Mm. And one of the ways you can exercise your brain is by reading, by writing, by, doing, by playing games. So, you know, crossword puzzles, Sudoku. I always tell my patients, you have to read the newspaper. First of all, it orients you, you know. So you read the newspaper, you see what day it is, you see, you know, what year it is. And then it just keeps your mind active. Learning new skills, you know, learning how to play the piano or learning how to sing a song or learning or doing, you know, dance classes. So those are sort of things that um, at the center, at, at my center, we, we're going to have a memory day unit. I don't want to call it a dementia day unit. I want to call it a memory. It's memory day unit. And at that day unit, we're going to do what we call cognitive stimulating activities. You know, those things that exercise the brain so you can exercise your muscles you know you can do your exercises train that also helps the brain why because as you exercise your body as your heart rate goes up as blood gets pumped around more blood flows to the brain more oxygen goes to the brain your oxygen get your the brain gets more oxygen more food right. you know same so that helps brain stimulating activities mm. like reading writing all those thing? things researching all those things help slows down dementia right. significantly okay let me go on a quick break when we come back we continue our conversation and take a few calls stay with us we'll be right back lush hair be beautiful Ike Chuku, Sunday, Okonkwo, aka Cross. <laughs> Are your intro without you? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you said I should drink. There's no particular answer. You think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sotterfuge. Sotterfuge. S U B T E R F U G. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who going to know what to be called Hossa <laughs> yeah. The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be it was be actually a mistake. Be like, I was sending it to someone and it just mistakenly just. Okay, that, yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, multiple award-winning actor, producer, ambassador of Edo people, we have Etinosa Idemudia in the building! <laughs> Not be first to go police station, they win the case. Is so she? you don't, you are showing no, I go, I go see that's my second question. You are feeling like a, a contact the prancing peacock. I'm about to cut your wings. Hello? Now, in the amalgamation of 1914, who was the woman who that. said, who drew the line of the amalgamation? Is they, who, who, cut, who cut the report? Who is the person that used to say? That woman. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, you have done me, Jerry. I've marked your face. I've marked your face if anything happened to me today. I don't, I don't if I don't reach my house. Anyway, I'm going to be shuffled, so... Mm. You remember now, Avi? Eh? <laughs> yeah, but you never took the name. Um, now you remember. Hey! If a person who indulges habitually in watching a sexual material is called a voyeur... That's what they're called. <laughs> You clearly say you don't go even get the uh, next one. Hey, 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 voyeur. Voyeur. Then go on. What is a person who makes one? A voyeur. <laughs> a voyage. <laughs> a bon voyage. You know, every time you open that your stupid mouth, you show exactly what you know. Hmm? What? You are drunk. Jesus! <laughs> you can't defend your wife anymore now, Julius. Right. None of this is his fault. What's going on? I can't explain. Just come. We are the, the Durojais. We, we are, are the Aquans. We are the Obiores. So how are you two doing? Who cares? She's a rude girl! You are a stupid man! Oh, Miss Bula, you, you are a stupid crazy. woman! <coughs> I mistakenly carried her bra. Mistakenly. Hey, you don't you. took my bra! What gives you the right? He said he can face you. Uh, <laughs> this is interesting. What? I thought all we were doing was for your own good. We just should get married. Get down here! Fainted and you just woke up. We're still talking about aging gracefully. Yes, Mariam had a question. Yes. So we know now the issues, the problems, oh, and you know what you do wrong and you may end up having dementia, but what are the lifestyle um, things that people can start doing right now um, to e either prevent it or delay it, as you um, earlier explained? Mm. And um, what activities and how soon should someone start this? Okay, so I'm just going to run through a list now. So the first thing that people need to start doing now is exercise. <laughs> <laughs> The most important, that is actually the most important thing, exercise. Every day if you can, three times a week if you can't. 30 minutes, moderate intensity. You can walk, like Sis was saying, you can walk. Brisk walking, very effective. I exercise every day, I do that, not because I want to be skinny or slim or whatever, mm -hmm. but because I want to age well, because I want to age in good health because I want to prevent dementia. It does all of those things. Mm. Number yes. two? Number two, um, socialize. Mm. Be a social person. Don't That's live in isolation. COVID was a bad time for many older people because they stopped going out, they stopped going to church, the children stopped coming around, grandchildren stopped. People aged in a year mm. and died, not of COVID, mm. of aging. Mm -hmm. People who had been otherwise okay were at home, isolated, lonely, depressed, and became frail and died because of social isolation. So socialize, be a social person, keep in touch with people, go out. Third thing, 
pay attention to your body. Take the tests. Go to see your doctor. Every six months from the age of 50, have some kind of medical engagement. I'm not saying go and check into a hospital. Mm. I'm saying go and check out. Regular Do your full blood count. You know, go to your doctor. Come to me. I'm a gerontologist, right? I'm a geriatrician. Yeah. You know, come. We'll do a get just get your those things done don't leave things you know pay attention be intentional about paying attention to your body after a certain age how is dementia diagnosed dementia is diagnosed by the way people behave so most people it's behavior honestly people change so many quite often it's a case of the people around them just notice a change and say you know what my mom has changed or my dad has changed or auntie has changed she stopped Remember, she doesn't know mm -hmm. where she is. She got lost yesterday. She is misplacing things. You know, some people, you know, there's some people who they're so good with money. All of a sudden, yeah. they don't know what's going on. But my question, on. doctor, is that how do we prevent it? I don't want to wait for that to happen. If yes. you're in your 40s, 30s, 50s, what can you do to prevent you do this whole socializing, exercising? Yes. But is there anything we eat? about eating? Not yes. to get so, to that point. Okay. All right. So in, when it comes to eating and drinking, like I've said before, everything in moderation. That is my motto. Everything in moderation. Because if you want to um, cut everything out, you, every, you know, when you research it, everything is bad for you. Yeah. Well, the one thing I would tell anybody to cut out for sure is smoking. <laughs> And sugar. 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 Those are the two things two I say. I should sure. drink champagne. Yes. Well, no, I. I she actually, said sugar. I actually I'm just no. Champagne, she said smoking. Champagne, champagne is I alcohol. Don't smoke. Wait, let, her, let her respond now. Champagne is alcohol, and there's nothing wrong in having a small glass. Well, okay, this is YK we're talking about. <laughs> she gets a bottle. <laughs> it's not about the way that works. How many parties do I drink? Ah, right, yes. Okay. Yeah, a bottle is in excess. <laughs> don't do no. anything in excess. Don't mm. drink in excess. Don't do, You know, but I actually. I always say a glass of red wine a day or half a glass of red wine a day. It's actually good for you. It's good for your brain and it's good for your heart. Oh, fantastic. I'm buying more red wine. Now, yes. let me ask you about sex. This one is not the champagne you drink. Drop that. I have a bottle. Okay, before we talk about sex, one more thing to say about food and drink. Intermittent fasting. Intermittent yeah. fasting has been proven beyond I mean, reasonable to doubt to um, prolong life. It's actually one of those things you can do if you want to add years. How can to we your fast life. intermittently? Please tell me. Um, so fasting intermittently, many ways, but this is the one I would advocate. It's called sixteen eight, mm -hmm. where you have um, a break. So let's just give you an example. Um, you you don't. Eat, so when you wake up in the morning, yeah. water, black coffee, no sugar, no milk, black tea, no sugar, no milk. And maybe your first meal, just delay your first meal till about 2 p.m. Ah, that means ah, I'm good to go. Uh, something like that. I can't have any dope prepared meat this morning. 2 p.m. Yeah, I'll finish this. 2 p.m. Yeah, and then sure. you can eat in moderation between 2 p.m. Mm. and 10 p.m. That's eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. And then after 8, 10 p.m., nothing until the next day, 2 p.m. And you do that at least three times a week. Mm. If that's too much for you, two or twice a week, even twice a week mm. has benefits. I, I do it at, at least five times. No, I'm not on the show. I do it at least five, four or five times. I don't eat till much later. I, my stomach has been trained now not to be able to eat early. Yes. Because I've been up, maybe I wake up about seven, seven, eight. Then I, I can't eat till two, I three. I touch on the other side. And then when, do you hmm? when do you stop eating? When do I stop eating? Maybe about seven. Oh, okay, well, that's, that's a good bad. fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then you now have about a 20 hour fast. Yeah, I, I don't because I, I've learned not to eat late at night eh, right. as well. Okay, you Let's know, talk about but the only pro problem about it is that okay, sorry, uh, Mariah, the only problem I have is that that food when I eat it, uh, no, no, you have to eat whatever you eat must be in moderation. You can't now just take a big bowl of uh, rice, you tea, know, how tea, we love rice in this environment, and yeah. now it's like when I have fasted for 5,000 calories, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> he's <laughs> attacked the food. <laughs> 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 it still has to be in moderation. I've told you you need to come to the center. Let's sit <laughs> down. <laughs> <with your laughs> Doctor, this is a center. We're not coming to your center. <laughs> 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 please. 
Um, the reason why I want to talk about sex because mm. in Africa here, it's almost unheard you of for from old sex. people to be like, you retire mm -hmm. from sex. Once you are, once the children are, they get, in fact, but you're ending towards the end of 46, <laughs> you don't even need to do. You're even shocked that your parents are still having sex. I'm shocked that kids at 62 is still having sex. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 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 so, 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 it matters. Sex is very good physical activity. I, I, I love it. <laughs> Zip, really? Really? Yes. 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 <laughs> and who does do mission? Like, there's only physical mission. Who told oh, you? you can we have a breakfast show. Oh. We're drinking oh. tea. Oh. Tea. Missionary oh. is what is this? Catholic is the one that's going to say my friends are watching. My friends are actually watching. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they are still active. Your parents are still active. Why care, Moriah? See, nobody wants to know their parents are active. Nobody wants to know about their parents. They might be adopted. My parents are physically active. Good. Anyway. So, yeah, there's a possibility that they might be still active. My mom, after this show, I will tell you one story. And she's not active. I don't know about that. But it's helping you, obviously, YK. So that's part mm -hmm. of, on that's the part, list yes. that you have mentioned, but, but, you're saying that yes. the intermittent fasting and, and uh, physical, physical activity, activity in the bedroom sex. helps. Oh, yes, it does help. And then, you know, all these things, like I say, it's a mindset. Mm -hmm. Sex actually is a, it's, it's a mood booster, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. So having sex regularly yeah, is a mood booster, you know. It makes you feel, it makes people feel better women women of course you want to have sex you know because it makes you feel loved and desired and mm -hmm. you know enhances your positivity mm -hmm. and, and the glow of that is, yeah. you know so yes yeah, so yeah. that hundred advocate 100% okay let me, let me put it on the list i'm not going to prescribe <laughs> just enter the number six <laughs> you know but don't want to carry over activity do walking you said walking yes, I'm I'm that because you, you know we take news stories where men die on the activity would have put in a exactly. mistress and person. overdo it and then you just and that's, that's, that's an important point a young girl arrested because the sex I partner died to, but but have you we didn't ask those men what they've taken to so a man you know those are taking the young person oh, they want to prove and themselves. then he wants to prove that he's still a young g yeah. and goes to a pharmacist and says can i have something yeah you know there are but, names for these things mm -hmm. of you know viagra is the oyimboni mm -hmm. yeah. there are some local the products the miss but, inside but the truth is that the the is the doctor, heart just like you said so nobody so wants to imagine that their parents are still doing it at the age of 60 or 70. 60? but 60 is young 60 is young. an old woman no ah. wow an old woman ah. no. <laughs> <laughs> you see i don't even want to answer it's people on youtube that will be abusing <laughs> Yes. Why can you lucky? This is my seventh, you can still be active. I think you can I know a seventeen year old that is still active. I wanna ask him for his advice. No, no, him is always active. Ha. Him that his wife is sixty. You know, only seventy year old still active. And she's older than me. The wife is she older than me. You know a seventy year old in Nigeria that is active. That's not true. Now they should call I said, no, I said, I said there, there are 70 years old. The man is 70, the wife is maybe 68 or 67. <laughs> when she's 70, I'm sure she'll stop. I can I can almost be guaranteed. Okay, anyway, let's just change the subject. Okay, what, 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 what time you we have to wrap up. We have to wrap up, but let's take a few comments. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was asking that you know, eating some things can help you prevent. What what exactly are the foods that you recommend? Okay, all right. So we all know that you have to eat your vegetables. You know, vegetables in in the UK we say spinach. Here we say F4. You know, mm -hmm. all the different anything leafy, green. So you know, anything green, eat mm. green you know um foods I, i'm talking about vegetables oh, now about fish fish oh. yes only fish, fish salmon what of, what of beef? any so beef is not anybody so for most dogs beef is not our favorite food in the world uh, you know mm -hmm. rather have white meat than have red mm -hmm. meat mm -hmm. because red meat you know it has been linked to things like colon cancer mm -hmm. so if you can avoid or cut back red meat or just have a little of it occasionally then that ah. it's better it's better for your gut it's better for the it's better it's for your difficult. gut you know but it's you know you can have it spiced up hmm. how it's it's spice spice it. It. Yeah. yes you you yeah, can I missed spice you yesterday you can, you can you can get them to do because i i it's you know i've got it my housekeeper is brilliant i mean here yeah, she does those that that's her a four you know the thing you, you know nice. how i do ugu. very nice without you know, i would just boil ugu mm. i don't yeah. use Palm oil or anything, just steam yeah. it, add pepper, yeah. add some fish. I had that for dinner yesterday. Still lush, like, delicious. You know what? Let me tell you, let me tell you that's, that's ugu with the chicken and the onions, everything. Wrap it up in your. 
the shawarma, the yeast wrap, the shawarma wrap. Mm. Put it and then put some maybe slight ketchup in it just to give some sauce or some hot sauce. Mm. Put some hot sauce on it. Now fold it up and put it in your toaster. Yeah. It's heaven. A bit heavenly. of pepper. You know, so put a bit of pepper. <laughs> yeah. It's Vegetables heavenly. with pepper, no, fish, I love fish food. chicken. You know. Okay, okay I, have I, have to wrap I have some tubes, please. Let's hurry up. Uh, Jennifer Kenny says, Oh my god, Moreo, 60 is the new 40. <laughs> <laughs> Moreo, don't they? Then Tamina says, Moreo, don't they shy? Clara, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't guarantee about. anything. It is when your body says to stop that you stop. Remember, you will get old too old. Stop yeah. stressing like My prayer is right <laughs> My prayer is that all of us will live very long. Amen. And at 70, yeah. we'll all be active. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is a question for you here. Yeah, <laughs> let me have to wrap up, but let me just re oh, uh, reiterate gosh. what you said. Um, so that you lifestyle. don't, the lifestyle changes, mm -hmm. exercise daily, very, very important. Mm -hmm. Socialize. Those of you going to church activities and they're, they're, they're always criticizing mm -hmm. you, it's a good thing. Go to church, go to mosque, go to community service, participate in politics. Those yalogias, they live very long because they are participating. They're always doing stuff. So participate. So please, Pay attention this to question. Regular. Okay, let me listen. Let me this finish. question is important for the doctor. It's not a doctor. question. We're wrapping up. We're rounding up. Number three, um, do regular checkups. Number four, Eat everything in moderation. Cut your beef, cut smoking, sugar. Don't finish a whole bottle of champagne like some people. Just take a <laughs> glass of champagne is fine. Intermittent <laughs> fasting is extremely important. And regular sex will do you good. Now, YK, if you have... The question she says, oh. um, this um, fasting till 2 p.m., will you not make you susceptible to, susceptible to ulcer? Over, over ulcer. That's a conversation for another day. Ah. Thank you very much, Doctor. It was a pleasure having you. <laughs> yes or that no? That is time we can take um, on the show. It's a medical answer. Break, 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 break tomorrow. Bye for now. Oh, God, so much. She says no. <laughs>